how do you find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence? Is it possible to get the sum or the total of an infinite sequence? Remember that when you say infinite, the number is endless. How do you find the sum of a geometric sequence that doesn't end? Please take note of the following informations. If the common ratio is greater than 1 or less than negative 1, it is impossible to get the sum of the geometric sequence. So, to give examples, if the common ratio is greater than 1, let's say 2, 3, 4, 5, or less than negative 1, like negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, it is impossible to get the sum of the geometric sequence. Next, if the common ratio is 1 or negative 1, exactong 1 or negative 1, it is still impossible to get the sum of the infinite geometric sequence. Kasi yung numbers or values, palaki pa rin ng palaki. If the common ratio is between 1 and negative 1, then it is possible to get the sum of the infinite geometric sequence. Okay, to yung explanation ng um, idea earlier. The common ratio must be between 1 and negative 1. Pero yung 0, hindi siya included. So, ano yung mga examples ng common ratio na nasa gitna ni 1 at ni negative 1? So, 3 fifth, 1 half, 1 fourth, pwede rin negative 1 half, negative 3 fourths, negative 1 fourth, negative 1 third. So those are examples of common ratio that is between 1 and negative 1. So kapag ito, yung common ratio ng isang infinite geometric sequence, pwede nating kunin yung kanyang sum. Okay? Bakit? Kasi yung mga values paliit ng paliit ng paliit. What's the formula for the sum of infinite geometric sequence? S sub n is equal to A sub 1 divided by 1 minus R. So in this given formula, ang kailangan mo lang malaman ay first term, that's your A sub 1. Tapos your R, which is the common ratio. Examples. Is it possible to find the sum of 5, 15, 45, 135? Remember that this is an infinite geometric sequence. Take note of this, three numbers here. Wala namang binigay na last term, okay? Sabi dyan, 5, 15, 45, 135, and so on. So, is it possible? No. Because the common ratio is positive 3. Example number 2. Is it possible to find the sum of 2, negative 2, 2, negative 2, and so on? Remember that this is also an infinite geometric sequence. Okay, pwede ba natin kunin yung kanyang sum kung walang katapusan yan? The answer is no. Dahil yung common ratio natin is negative 1. Is it possible to find the sum of 5, 5, 5, 5, and so on? This is an, another example of an infinite geometric sequence because of the ellipses. It states that the number will be endless. Now, is it possible to find the sum if the number that you're going to add is endless? The answer is no. Okay, because your common ratio here is 1. Now, remember yung rules natin kanina. If it's greater than 1, 
hindi pwede. If it's less than negative 1, hindi rin pwede. If it's equal to 1 or equal to negative 1, hindi rin natin pwede kunin yung sum ng ating infinite geometric sequence. Number 4. Is it possible to find the sum of 1, 7, 49, 343, and so on? No. Because the common ratio is 7. So, paano nakuha yung common ratio na 7? 7 divided by 1. 49 divided by 7. So, ang laki ng kanyang common ratio. So, it's not possible to find the sum of this geometric sequence. Number 5. Is it possible to find the sum of 4, negative 2, 1, negative 1 half? This is an example of an infinite geometric sequence. Again, because of the sine ellipses. Now, what's the answer in the question? The answer is yes. Because the common ratio here is negative 1 half. Now, paano nakuha yung negative 1 half? Okay, so let's divide two consecutive terms. So, ito na lang para mas madali. 1 divided by negative 2. That will give us negative 1 half. Okay, let's solve the problem. So, you have 4, negative 2, 1, negative 1 half. And knowing that your common ratio is 1 half, yun ang gagamitin natin sa ating formula. So, ang first term natin ay 4. Kaya siya na dyan. And yung common ratio natin kanina is negative 1 half. So, you get that by dividing two consecutive terms. Okay, so not solve natin yung nasa denominator. 1 minus negative 1 half. So, since dalawang negative yan, magiging positive na yan. So, 4 over 1 plus 1 half. Okay, next step, solve pa rin natin yung denominator muna. Okay, so that will give us 4 over 3 halves. Okay, ngayon, paano tayo magdi-divide ng 4 at saka ng fraction na 3 halves? So remember, yung rule natin dyan, okay, you get the reciprocal of your denominator. So when you say reciprocal, yung kabaligtara ng denominator na 3 halves. Pag binaligtad mo yung 3 halves, magiging 2 over 3. And then, hindi ka na magdi-divide, magpo-proceed ka na sa multiplication. So, magiging 4 times 2 thirds. Okay. So, after that, remember that your 4 has a denominator 1. You multiply na lang. So, numerator sa numerator, denominator sa denominator. So, that will give you a sum of 8 thirds. Okay, so you imagine na pag in mo yung infinite geometric sequence from 4, negative 2, 1, negative 1 half, and so on, makakakuha pa rin tayo ng sum na 8 thirds or 8 over 3. Problem number 6. Is it possible to find the sum of 3 fourths, 3 eighths, 3 sixteenths? 3 over 32 and 3 over 64 and so on. This is another example of an infinite geometric sequence. Okay, kasi ang nakalagay dun sa problem, you find the sum of this infinite. Hindi kagaya ng finite geometric sequence na sasabihin niya lang mula umpisa hanggang kung saan. Okay, so this is an infinite geometric sequence. Now, is it possible? Yes, because the common ratio is 1 half. Ngayon, paano nakuha yung common ratio na 1 half? Tingnan natin yung susunod na slide. So, sabi natin, in getting the common ratio, you need to divide two consecutive terms. So, meron tayong 3 eighths and divided by 3 fourths. So, yun na gagawin natin yung example. So, 3 eighths divided by 3 fourths. Kunin mo yung reciprocal ng 3 fourth, balik ta rin mo yan, magiging 4 over 3, then you proceed to multiplication. So, makukuha mo yung 12 over 24. Ngayon yung 12, equal yan sa 4 times 3 times 1. At yung 24 naman ay equal sa 4 times 3 times 2. 
So, what you need to do is to just cancel yung similar terms or yung mga similar numbers na yan. And then, magtitira na lang is one half. So, your common ratio is one half. Okay, so let's solve using the formula. So, S sub n is equal to A sub 1 divided by 1 minus the common ratio. So, substitute the values of the first term and the common ratio. So, yun. So, A sub 1 natin 3 fourths. Common ratio natin is 1 half. So, solve muna natin yung denominator, yung nasa baba. So, what is 1 minus 1 half? So, that will give us 1 half. So, 3 fourths divided by 1 half ng natitira. Okay, next step is... Let's solve this. So, divide natin ang 3 fourths at 1 half. You get the reciprocal of 1 half. Ito, balik ta rin nyo. And then, proceed to multiplication. So, 3 fourths times 2 over 1 na yan. Okay. So, next step, multiply natin. So, 3 times 2 ay 6. 4 times 1 ay 4. Or 6 fourths. Ngayon, yung 3 times 2 equal pa rin yan sa 6. 2 times 2 equal pa rin yan sa 4. You cancel na lang yung Similar numbers dyan. So, 2 and 2, mati-iwan ay 3 halves. So, ibig sabihin, dun sa problem natin earlier, ang answer is 3 halves. Okay? I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwede namang ulitin, panoorin ng video.